Good morning. It is currently 6.11 a.m. on Thursday, April 9th, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I was out past my bedtime last night um, at the improv show. Um, the original outing was for the 7.30 show, but I stayed and hung out and did the 9.30 show as well, which included what is known as the jam, where students like myself can sign up to, uh, to do a couple of scenes in sort of a free-form show. Um, so I did that. That was fun. Um, also, the other acts, um, just by sheer dumb coincidence, but fun coincidence, uh, both birthdays and corgis came up uh, organically within this, the uh, scenes of the, uh, the original act. So that was kind of just a fun <laughs> detail. Um, now I'm tired because I didn't get as much sleep as I should. Mm. Um, unfortunately, I have actual real work that I need to do this morning and as a result cannot uh, sleep in or whatever. Uh, so what I thought I might talk about today... Oops, yikes. Dropping silverware and making unintended noises on your video. It's an unappreciated art, that. Uh, I hope you all understand how lucky you are. Uh, in any case, yesterday was comic book day, and I ended up with a big haul. Uh, and so I thought I might just kind of really quickly uh, run down what I bought, maybe give just sort of a little few words on each. I haven't read them all yet, but uh, just kind of to go over, you know, this is a snapshot of what I'm reading comic book wise these days. So this is from my recently purchased list um, on my Comixology app, which is how I consume most of my comics. I got uh, 15 comics yesterday. That's too many. It's too many. I yeah, I had made a decision for myself earlier this year that that was too many. But uh, here we go. I got the all-new Hawkeye, which is the follow-up volume to Matt Fraction's run, which is what uh, I was really initially drawn in by. The new volume is good, too, although having volume two, issue two, come out before the actual last issue of the previous volume and so this is taking place later than the end of that other story. Uh, I guess it's not so much weird as it just makes me impatient for that other issue. Uh, I got Ant-Man number four. This is a new uh, series obviously designed to kind of capitalize on the upcoming movie I think to uh, give you know Ant-Man fans something to uh, pay attention to and while they wait for the movie. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fun story, and I think it's focusing um, wisely less on his specific powers and more just on the character uh, of Scott Lang, who uh, historians will know is the second Ant-Man, but uh, it's a good deal. Uh, I got Captain Marvel... Issue 14, which is uh, not only just one of my, my favorite titles generally because I love uh, the Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, but also uh, this is the Black Vortex tie-in issue. The Black Vortex tie-in uh, collection, which has been running through a lot of the cosmic-themed, uh, and I guess a lot of the X-Men themed books too, because I think we've included uh, Legendary Star-Lord, Guardians of the Galaxy, all new X-Men, uh, Nova have certainly all had their own tie-ins in addition to the Black Vortex main books. And uh, I don't know, I like it. It's It's got a fairly tropey beginning. It's an amazing galactic artifact that gives you unlimited power, but does power corrupt? 
I say with a question mark because it's in great big font as opposed to because the answer is duh. <laughs> anyway, um, I also got a whole bunch of DC's new Convergence books. Convergence is DC Comics' new uh, universe-altering crossover where in kind of an interesting touch, they've actually like temporarily stopped all of their books in favor of a whole bunch of new books that are all kind of, um, they're like alternate reality splinters of different multiverse worlds because that's kind of part of what's going on in Convergence. And so there's going to be a whole bunch of brand new two-issue stories um, telling different uh, Elseworlds type stories. So I got the main Convergence issue number one, and then the Convergence tie-ins I got Batgirl, Batman and Robin, Justice League, Nightwing and Oracle, Superman, and The Question. Uh, and so I have not read any of those yet except for the main um, Convergence issue number one, which, I don't know, seems okay so far. It's an interesting concept to be sure. And I'm running over five minutes already, so I'll kind of, you know, hustle on uh, through. Uh, I got Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man issue 12, which is notable in the sense of not only being a good series about an interesting character, but this is the last issue of Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man because, of course, the Marvel Universe has its own alternate or uh, its own, you know, universe-altering crossover event called Secret Wars starting, and uh, they've already announced that the ultimate universe where Miles Morales currently hangs out is the whole universe is going to end. Um, but uh, we've also been assured that Miles himself will be making his way over to the main Marvel universe, which is pretty cool because he's awesome. Uh, I got Rat Queens number 10, which is a super fun kind of subversive uh, fantasy comedy issue about uh, a group of uh, female mercenaries um, doing their own thing. And uh, it's pretty good because uh, it, it incorporates a lot of sort of, like without it being about a D&D &D game, it kind of incorporates a lot of those kinds of tropes. Like, uh, it's hard to explain. It's just super funny. If you like fantasy comics at all, it's worth pick it up. Saga issue 27. Saga, of course, is amazing. Anyone who doesn't already know that should correct that quickly. Spider Woman number six, which has been a new uh, series that I've been enjoying a lot. I like that character, although it was a little weird having her book start with the Spider-Verse tie-ins because it just means that, you know, the first couple of issues of this brand new series are part of a crossover um, where those elements of it are not really going to be typical of what the issue is going to be moving forward. So, eh, weird. Um, and then the last one that I bought yesterday is The Walking Dead, number 140, um, which is what it is. All right, so I think that's it for today. Uh, remember, you can find all my stuff at ChristianaEllis.com, and I wish I could go back to bed, but no. Anyway, talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes. <laughs>